We have made it very clear in our policy that uh, South Africa is a country, a country of many races. There is room for all the various races in this country. When you think of Mandela, he's almost synonymous with the fight against injustice, the fight for human rights. Uh, he was, I think, self-evidently a leader of men. I recently formally announced my retirement from public life <laughs> and should really not be here. <laughs> However, as long as poverty, injustice, and gross inequality persist in our world, none of us can truly rest. South Africa was characterized by an extreme form of racial division and where the government was about what color skin he were. And this is the sort of thing that propelled him and others like him to confront such a system. Nelson Mandela was arrested because he fought against the system for apartheid. The trial started on the 1st of August of 1958. I remember very distinctly actually being introduced to him and having a conversation with him. He had a very appealing face and when he spoke to you, you felt the most important person at that moment was yourself and not him. One would never have imagined that he was in fact one of the leaders of the anti-apartheid movement. The police were hunting for him at the time, but African nationalists had arranged for me to meet him at his hideout. He is still underground. This is Mandela's first television interview. There are many people who feel that it is useless and futile for us to continue talking peace and non-violence against a government whose reply is only savage attacks on an unarmed and defenseless people. Nelson Mandela was jailed for 27 years. His cell was very small. The spirit of the men and others like him was quite remarkable. They managed to survive it and came out. And that, as we all have seen, resulted in majority rule in South Africa. I stand here before you as a humble servant of you, the people, a place the remaining years of my life in your hands. Mandela was in prison purely because of his political views for decades and that's the fight which Amnesty has been fighting and, and even today as we speak, tens of thousands of people across the world are locked up uh, for no other reason other than that they you know, politically disagree with the government in power. And that's a fight we're going to keep fighting. We're going to draw inspiration from uh, Mandela's battle. I have the extraordinary honor of placing in your hands, Madiba, Nelson Mandela, the Art for Amnesty Ambassador of Conscience Award. It's tribute to and the deep gratitude of the world for your greatness, your conscience. He was somebody who could, just simply by the way he spoke, the way he approached issues, he was somebody who united people. He was somebody who bridged divides, um, not just between sort of white and black, but all sorts of divides, north, south, east, west. I have cherished the idea of a democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunities. It is an idea for which I hope to live and to see realized. But my Lord, if it needs be, it is an idea for which I am prepared to die.